All right then. So this is our second map we played on. This is also, I think, a win for us. Um, we just kind of roll out. We're rolling out on the same composition we started with last time with the Diva, um, which I think I might end up swapping to the Hog after a little while. They're running Mirror Match, but they have Sigma instead of the Diva. So we start off the Kree on Hagar. We lose our Kree, but we dive their Kree. This is really good here by the Junkrat. Diva Junkrat diving up on this Kree. He's flashbang on me, but he's already pretty low. And we clean him up. So now we're just putting pressure and forcing them to choose what they want to do here and making making the move to go somewhere else. Um, which they do end up dropping like they should. We, they lose their junk rat. They're right now swinging here. They're gonna get the res off though. Um, Roger right here putting pressure. They have no Sigma Shield and the Reinhardt swinging right now. Overall, I think we're playing very passively here. I don't I don't see the Junkrat doing too much really to the shields or a specific target. And our Kree is kind of doing the same. We're kind of just We're kind of just stalling right now. Which really isn't good for us in the attack. We wanna waste as little time as possible. We lose our Junkrat to the, the free flank. We lose our Moyer to the Reinhardt going aggro. We do res the Moyer though. Playing anger here, trying to trying to do something to this tree, get him out. So we back up, and I think now we're starting to want to play forward again. Now they're backing up off a of point there, down there, Reinhardt. We have our coalescence. They have their junk tire. Okay, so we kill the junk tire, which is huge. We kill the junk rat because he. He jumps into that basically, or he, he kind of walked into that. Um, and yet we're still we're playing kind of passive here. We we know they're down. We should we should be further forward and just swinging the hammer right now with the Reinhardt. We should all be playing forward. This Mercy's killable. We kill the Mercy. We should be helping our Diva in this case. We get D Max, but it should be all right. We use bomb, so we'll get Max back. That breaks Ryan Shield. Or Ryan Shield low. But we should we should just play aggro in this fight. This should be pretty easy. And we do. They use their they use their Sigma ult and their High Noon. Then High Noon only kills Mercy. It doesn't really matter too much. She's got good spawn. She'll be back in a second. And their Kree dies while wasting ult. Kill the Kree. And at this point, with the position they're at, there's no reason why we can't win gold more aggro on this. They are getting regroups now, so I guess it's fine. Our junk, our junk rat out. Trying to pressure their junk rat. We're just pushing the payload now. He was up here on the high ground. Just pressuring their junk rat. We kill him. We're fighting on point now. So now we're up on point. We're down we're up two now. We lose our Kree. Their Kree. Their Reinhardt's slow though, we kill him. This should be pretty easy to clean up now. We should get the Sigma out of the way. We get the res back on the Kree. And we should be able to clean up as much of this fight as we can. Yep. And there's no reason why we can't be playing at this door, which we do. They use Maywall. They swap to the May. They use Maywall. Make sure we help our Diva here. Our Ryan gets pinned here. We need to make sure we keep him going. They use Junk Tire. Or that's our Junk Tire in the back. Should get their Mercy. We do. Huge. Um, and we're just playing on point right now. Deep, or May is the only one they have on point right now. She's just stalling. They use Shatter. They use Coalescence. We lose our Moyer to that. We lose our Reinhardt. And we should... We probably lose this fight then. We bomb, but it's probably late realistically. They lose their Moyer and their Kree to it. Junkrat's, or not Junkrat, Reinhardt's very low. Junkrat just needs one more hit on him. He's dead. Their mace full here, but she's getting kind of beat up. And our D.Va will probably probably die here. So yeah, we probably... They win this fight. They use Valk really late in this fight, though. So we should just regroup. Alright, so roll up for this next one. 
our Junkrat goes in. This is a bit early on the Junkrat, um, but I think you were just trying to get the Gib or something like that. You are fine. You don't die. Their mace up here on this high ground. As far as the ultimates go, High Noon's the only thing they have, and they're about halfway to everything else. So as ultimates for us go, we have Coalescence, we have High Noon. We swap to the Hog. Um, we're halfway to Tire. We have uh, Valk, and we have Shatter. So we probably want to engage with Shatter here, and then either Valk or Coalescence to kind of sustain the fight. They use their May Wall early. And we push for it, and their Kree's up behind us. He's probably going to high noon from high ground there. We pop our Val. We pop our high noon, or our high noon, our shatter. We knock down two. We should be able to kill two of theirs. Kree pops high noon. He kills two with that, but it should be a winnable fight still. We kill their May. We kill their Moira. Their Kree comes down and kills our uh, Reinhardt. But we should be able to kill who's left from the point right now. Drunker gets low from that, but he is able to back away. They pop their hog ult. I think we do win this, though. We should be able to win this. They have better spawns than us, but... No. Okay, we don't win this. We get the Kree, though. We're backing up and stabilizing as people get as we get our respawns back. We should have better respawns than them. We get the Kree again. Their Moira fades all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. This should be a really... We should be more aware of this and focus this down because she has no way of getting out. The Reinhardt takes way too long to get to her. The Mei can't save her. Mercy can't save her. No one can save her. And she used her only escape ability to get to where she is right now. We get hooked through shield. That's really unlucky. We lose our Moira to that. Pop whole hog, which forces May ult. We kill two with that, we pop tire, and we don't get anything with it. But they're down, it's just their Moira and their Reinhardt on point right now. This should be very winnable for us to clean up. And uh, Reinhardt, uh, their Rota, so McCree comes in, he dies. Okay, so let's look at their bad spawns as well. So, on this map particularly, there is a really bad spawn for the defenders here, if the opponent caps. They're obviously going to be stuck either behind this door or this door back here, which their Mercy, their Roadhog, and their May all did. So we should be able to clean up most of this, if not all of it, in very quickly. So we get their May, I think. Or she uses their Ice Block. We should still be able to get her. We do. It's just Roadhog and Mercy now. Mercy went underneath. We get the Hog. Do we know the Mercy's in there? I don't think we know the Mercy's in there. We should have been dragging that. Because she doesn't have Valk or anything like that. So she's just stuck behind us. Okay, so we, we see her. We do clean that up eventually. That is kind of funny. It's clown car music playing in the background. Okay, so we're, we're really advantaged right now. We're popping Valk for this. We have, as far as ultimates go, we lose her. Uh, McCree, where do we lose him to? I think we lose him over here or something. I don't even know. Maybe he was on point. Oh, yeah, he was on point. All right, then. Um, which is unfortunate because we had High Noon, but we still have Shatter. We'll have Whole Hog. We'll have Riptire. We'll have Coalesce. We should be able to get all of those in the fight. And, oh, the res, the res gets canceled, which is unfortunate as well. Um, we pop Whole Hog. we we'll kill them. They Shatter, which is our Mercy and our Roadhog, who then the Mercy gets pinned. So we're now down to just Moira for heals. Um, we should still be all right if we keep a rent our life. We pop Coalescence. They pop High Noon up in the high ground, and they kill three, and that, that wins them the fight there. So we need to just regroup on that, on that. Which our Kree does. So going into this next fight, uh, their Junkrat's playing up on the high ground here, which Roaming Hog has a plan to deal with. Um, we, as far as ultimates go, we have both DPS ults and we have Shatter again. Uh, as far as their ultimates go, all they have is Whole Hog. It's very interesting to jump right up. So we go into this fight, knowing we have Shatter, with Wind Condition being Melted Shield and getting a Shatter. Uh, so we should be focusing 
as much damage as we can on the Shatter or on picks we can get. We pop High Noon, which perfectly fine forces him to play aggro with that. We kill the Reinhardt, so we should be able to get a Shatter. Shatter cancels the Roadhog Ultimate. They pop. That's our tire. Actually, that's our tire popping, which should get their Mercy. It does get their Mercy and their Junkrat, and we should cap point there, which we do. Alright then. So as far as our defense goes, uh, we're starting off with this Junkrat up in front here with the Mercy, which is just kind of to get a bunch of damage. They throw a Frisbee on this for whatever reason. Um, and then we've got our regular our regular stack back here. So they're running the Widow as well instead of a Junkrat right now. Um, which is probably just for first point and they'll swap. And then they're also running... Oh, this is very weird. They're running, they're running Zen Baptiste instead of a, a better heal comp. Um, our Junkrat drops down. He's able to get out, though. So we're just kind of swimming here. We might lose our Kree here. We do. He gets deleted there. Um, why was he Why was he there? I want to see where what rotation got him there. Okay, I do think I understand. Okay, so we call drop. Um, this, is just an un this is just a misunderstanding of callouts. Uh, when you're holding up on this high ground here, because this is a very popular spot to hold, the drop is always, when, when someone says drop, you always go through here, here, and then through this archway down to the point, and you play on this doorway down here. You never drop straight down here, because there's just, there's no natural cover down here. Once you drop down there, it's very easy to die. So we drop, that is, that's just a rotation, that's a rotation error there. The Reinhardt then drops forward to try and be with you, but you're already dead at this point. So we, and then the Mercy as well. The Mercy follows forward, which Mercy should be much further back here. And even then, I th okay, the Mercy's backing up now. The Moira's playing well. So we might, we should be able to stabilize here, though. We have a ton of span damage. It should be very hard for them to push through this choke here. The Roadhog uses hook. We lose our barrier. They still have this Widow. We hook the Widow. We should kill her there. We do. They use their Baptista Mortality Field. They use their Roadhog Hook. We lose our Reinhardt. We hook their Roadhog. We lose our Roadhog. We get the res off though, which is really good. Um, here, this is a really good example. I think you actually are trying to, you tried to do it there. Um, but a super jump would obviously be very helpful. And you just fly up above here and glide slowly down. Um, but yeah, that, that would be the, that'd be the use case for something like that on on, especially on this point, um, to use the super jump is just to be out of range of this Reinhardt, so he can't do anything to you because you're too high up above him. Um, this should we should be able to stabilize this. We block hook, we pin. Um, I'm actually a really big fan of that pin. <coughs> that was Reinhardt had no ability to stop you from that. You saw an opportunity, you took it. That was a really good play there. Um, I don't like the mercy. I don't like the positioning of the supports right now. We're both in front of our tank line, um, which the Moira was rotation through this building over to this way, and then the Mercy used Glide to get over here. Mercy should be playing back here, especially with the Junkrat, um, or healing the Reinhardt, but being back here instead of way up in front here. And the Moira should be doing the same probably from like right here. So that's that's just a, that's the positioning on the sports. It should be a fine because we are up on this fight right now, and we're popping Tire as well. Tire gets two, and that's their fight lost. So we should be able, we, we're definitely, we're stable now, and we've got a Roadhog on his way back, and we should be pretty good from there. Yep. So we put the Junkrat back up on high ground here for now. This is good as long as you have, which you probably should have, uh, whichever button it is, it's probably that one. Uh, yeah, you've got both your mines and stuff, so you should be able to get escape if they pressure you or whatever. Oh, uh, our, okay, our Kree gets hooked there. That's that's just that's a greedy position. Um, you're just trying to get some damage done, but they have a Roadhog. Especially when the enemy team has a Roadhog, you need to play very safe. Um, so we do get punished for that. And then we go for the res. The res was the res was too aggressive as well. That was unfortunate. We lose to that, and I think we, we probably will lose the points for that. Um, but we we need to. That's a very big thing is the support positioning because at the end of the day, when you're playing support, the most important thing is being alive. Um, getting a res arc or whatever, 
does it help the team as much as having the mercy in the first place? So holding on to the mercy is more important. I think we're just gonna try and stall out. We used Roadhog ult there, but that was a very poor choice by me. As far as ultimates go, we'll have High Noon, we'll have um, Valkyrie next fight, and we'll be pretty close to Shatter. They cap this point though, and we regroup for second point. We need to help them where get out. We should get them fine. Mercury's on this rotation on the flank. We kill their Baptiste because he's playing very aggressive. We kill their McCree because he's playing very aggressive. Those are nice shots. Um, so yeah, and then just uh, the Baptiste kind of died on point. He was just playing aggro, I think. But the McCree especially. Um, he just, he had no natural cover here. He played in a spot where you could see him and his only rotation was to either head back here or drop down this way. And either one of those ways you could get him, you can get a lot of damage on him before he can make it to that place that he wanted to go. So now that they're down two, we should be playing more aggressive on the on the plane here. We should be trying to push them off the payload right now. Um, so this, this is really good here by the DPS doing this, but I think the tank line um, should rotate up and try and hold, especially this corner right here. So we put our shield here. That would be ideally what we want to do. They use their immortality field again as well. So we, we can push into that and because they're down still. They missed their Roadhog hook because of Reinhardt. And we should just push push way forward on this. We lose our Reinhardt to that. We should be able to get the res off. We do. We get their Kree again. We get their Baptiste. And they're just they're just kind of staggling and trickery, trickling in right now. And we just back up as they get the respawns. They shatter. They solo shatter our Roadhog. We should be able to take care of him, though. Keep him alive. Got, they pop their tire as well. Which, they just go for a Reinhardt. Which is unfortunate, but um, it should still be winnable in this case. Or we should, or it should, we should probably stabilize first and back up. Or, in this case, we're going to counter with our own rip tire from wherever Junkrat is hiding. Yeah, we're using our own tire, right? Yeah, we're using our own tire. And because of this, uh, the positioning of this window is kind of horrible. Um, so the best thing for us to do here is to rotate through in here and around onto this side of the point and just try and get them to have as little value as they can from that. We pop our tire. That's where the trick is. We kill their Baptiste again. We're on their Roadhog. We get him. We get the Moira. And it's just Ryan and Jungle on point. Oh, they're, they're McCree rotated all the way around on high ground. And uh, let's see. Okay, so we have... All we have left right now on the point is the Moira and the Roadhog. They have both their DPS on point. This is very winnable for us, though. We take this. Reinhardt's getting back. He gets back on point. And we should clean this up pretty quickly. And we do. Their Junkrat does actually get away. They use immortal they use Immortality Field again. And they're popping their Rip Tire. But we kill the Rip Tire. That's huge. So that was that was very greedy by him. He was standing out in the middle of nowhere, and we were able to melt his tire. So he gets absolutely no value for that. We have, as far as ultimates go, we have two or that's their ultimates. They have they have two ultimates. They have Roadhog ult. They have High Noon, which probably means the Kree's going to try and rotate on this high ground again because that's what he seems to want to do. I don't even know where he's at right now, but that's probably what his plan is. Is to come over. Oh, he's back at spawn right now. So that's probably what his plan is: is to go around on his right side here and High Noon from behind. Um, so our ultimates go there. We have four ultimates online, and we're pretty close to hog as well. So we need help our right here. He is low. Nope, McCree. Okay, McCree is going main right now with the rest of his team. Until now, he's decided to flank around. So I'm not sure exactly where he's going to try and set up. Okay, so he's going to go all the way to the high ground. We lose our Junkrat, which just... It's just the duel up in the high ground here. You can't... Okay, we get a huge shatter off. That hits four people, three people. The Moira, I think she faded out of it or something. Um, by the way, we should be able to clean this up. We pop Coalescence. It's good to keep this fight going. Reinhardt should die. Um, get their Roadhog on him. They, Moira used Fade. We should chase her down and stop her from getting away. And the McCree is on high ground. Waiting for High Noon. 
as we clean up the pipe. So the McCree comes aggro to try and get our Junkrat, and I think he might get him. That would require him to hit his shots, which he doesn't do. And our Kree is up here to challenge him. And yet again, he's kind of in a spot where... I mean, n realistically, neither one of these Krees really have a good spot to hide. But it's just a duel. And the Kree's probably going to try and back up. Our Mercy's here to support now. So we should be able to clean him up pretty quickly. The Junkrat comes forward to help him get out. We're playing up on this high ground now, or we're playing with a creep on this high ground, which is a good location for him because he set ups for a, for a shatter. And then our Reinhardt and our Roadhog are playing low ground right now. They pop another tire, which I think might get our Kree. Yeah, it's probably going to jump up here and get the Kree, but we get their junk, we get the junk right in return for it. He's probably going to kill you with that, which he does. So we trade DPS, which is fine. We traded an ultimate for, uh, they used an ultimate to get a kill, and we just put out killed. They shatter again, hits the Moira. That's kind of unlucky there with the geometry of the bus deciding to let you get hit there. Um, our Roadhog gets pinned and dies. They use their Roadhog ult. And then the way they're set up there, McCree is playing really far forward. I think they might take this then. We go for the res. We get the res. That's quite a risky res, but they weren't really doing anything to contest you there. So it is, you do get value out of it. We pop our own Hog ultimate as our Hog gets back. Trying to clean up. We pop our own rip tire, and their junkets moving around to this left side. We kill their, we kill their Kree, and a Mercy gets pinned off the map. But we should be all right. Oh no, she didn't even fall off the map. Okay then, so he just falls off the point and falls off the map. I wish we could clean this up. Where's that high noon? That's our high noon. We pop that on low ground. Um, I'm not sure if that's really necessary. Um, it does help us with the cleanup, but. Uh, that, that's one thing. It doesn't really matter. We're doing it a lot at this point. Um, but as we get better, especially when we start ult tracking and stuff like that, um, the important thing is making sure we we balance how many ultimates we use and know not to use ultimates for cleanup. Because uh, cause it kind of just means that, yeah, and we'll probably, we probably won't have time to earn another high noon, but I don't think it really matters. Thermocree is going to pop around behind us and he's going to high noon. Yep, he does, and we're all completely able to zone it. He goes for our mercy, but he should just end up dying here pretty soon. We kill their Junkrat. The Reinhardt pins, but he just, he just pins to get the point in time. We shatter, we hook. And yeah, we should just clean this up, which we do. And we win. So that's the second map. Um, so yeah, it wasn't too many big things. I think a lot of things we should probably look on for in the future is going to be paying attention to how we how we use ultimates and how many ultimates we use in fights. Because there was a couple, a couple times where we used more ults than we probably needed to in a fight to win a fight.